Vibrant Souls, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Vibrant Soul Tarot and I'm super excited to have you here. And speaking of super excited, this is one of my favorite types of readings to do. It's going to be mainly a charm casting reading. It is going to have a little bit of oracles and a little bit of tarot. So if you like that too, don't worry. But for the most part, this is going to be a charm casting reading about what you don't see coming in your life. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this video, it doesn't have to be the date that I posted or around the date. Just whenever it finds you is when it's meant for you. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get into the pile selections. So today we have these two piles to choose from. We're going to start right here with pile number one with the key. So I'm going to hold it up for you so you can get a little better look at it, but this is going to be for pile number one. All right. Moving along for pile number two, we have the crown. So whichever one you feel the most drawn to is going to be the reading for you. If you feel really drawn to both of them, like you feel like there's messages in both of them, that's perfectly fine as well. You're more than welcome to check both of them out. And I will see you guys at your reading. Oh, when you do have your pile selected though as well, I will post the timestamps in the description box for your convenience too. So to make it easier. And then I can't wait to see you guys at your reading. Bye! Hi pile one, welcome to your reading. If you chose the key or you felt drawn to the key pile, then these are your messages. So today we are going to be asking what you don't see coming at the time that you are coming across this reading. It is a timeless reading, so just trust whenever it finds you or you find it that uh, these are the messages meant for you. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, I want to pull an oracle from the Divine Doors deck to see what you don't see coming. Then we're going to pull some fortunes. And when I say fortunes, I quite literally mean like fortunes from fortune cookies. <laughs> and then we're going to get your charm casting reading and then we're going to do a little bit of tarot at the end. And then that's it. And then we can go on with our beautiful lives, can't we? Okay, so look, at the bottom of the deck, we have 1111. 1111 could be significant here. It was literally 0101 on the clock. So one or 111 as well can be significant. But also this is reminding you to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. You may start seeing more synchronicities after this reading as well or just the things that you don't see coming could have to do with the synchronicities that you have been seeing as well um we're gonna read this actually but when i think of 11 11 i think of divine unions not necessarily it doesn't have to just be romantic as well okay there's a whole different there's a lot of unions <laughs> you can have you can be the union of self and things like that but also when i think of 11 11 i think of awakenings as well um, so this could be in regards to something in your life, an awakening, a realization. Now, for some reason, I'm thinking of the judgment card coming through as well. So kind of like an aha moment or a chance for you to see something truly for what it truly is and understand it. Also, this reminds me of your channeled song two pile one your channeled song was the song hallelujah and when i think of the phrase hallelujah yes i, I think it's praise god or i think it's like praise be to god or, or some, something like that is what it actually means but it's it's more of for you in this reading what i'm seeing intuitively pile one is that this is actually going to be like a sense of relief coming for you something that you don't see coming maybe something that you've been praying for something that you've been wanting or just changes because I, I feel like this hallelujah is is sounding in my mind is almost like a breath or uh, an exhale, if you will, you know, it's like, you're like, oh, hallelujah, like finally. <laughs> so this could be in regards to something you've been praying for, something you've been wishing for. Also 1111 too. When I think of 1111, I think of like, oh my gosh, make a wish. I used to say that all the time. Like, oh, it's 1111, make a wish. 
Hmm? The 11th house is about dreams and wishes as well. And the number 11 in tarot is justice. So you receiving something that you've been working towards because justice is like representation of karma as well. Like, so if you've been putting seeds into planting seeds and into something, you know, this is about your good karma coming back. Are you reaping the rewards of this as well? Lots of different messages coming through for you, but I feel like it's going to, re what resonates with you the most is what it's going to be. Um, also in this charm casting reading, we're going to see different areas of your life. So it could be in multiple different areas of your life as well, too. There could be a lot of things specifically for you that you do not see coming. So let's see the other card we have for you is passages. Oh my gosh. Both of these cards talk about synchronicities. <laughs> so the 1111 card is numbers in doubles, synchronicity in two, don't hold back your love now, life is meant for you. And then passages is spiritual signs of inclination, you're walking through passages of your transformation. Ooh, this is powerful energy for you, Pile One. What I love so much is that both of these talk about you and your divine path and where you're being led. So if you feel lately like your faith is being tested, or if you've been kind of doubting yourself, if this is what's meant to be, if, if you're meant to be where you are, yes, this is confirmation that yes, you are, and you are going through a complete transformation. So there could be, again, multiple aspects of your life that you don't see coming that are going to start changing for you, whether this is your finances, your love life, your career, whatever it is, your spiritual sense, you know, you know, there could be a, an awakening for you on a spiritual level. Even if you already are spiritually, you know, awake, you know, we go through many different types of awakenings throughout our life. And that's why we always see like the journey is a spiral and not a straight line because you can come back around to the same types of lessons, the same things and the same situations and see something deeper, see different things and see different truths in each and every one of them. So that is again, an awakening within itself awakening parts within you as well. It could be some changes that are happening within this transformation, your strength. And again, I'm getting the message of your faith. If you if you've been holding out, but you know, you, you've been tested right now, or you feel as though you know, you don't know, or there's some confusion, just trust in yourself and where you are being led. Because this also, the other one you got is the divine guardian. So do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead to light. This is definitely saying you are protected. You are divinely guided and you are on your right path. Any choices that you feel have been hard to make or that you've made or where you're going, even if you can't see the next steps, you're on the right path. Sometimes, it, you know, when we think of a path, we think of like, oh, you can look and you can clearly see a path. But a lot of the times the paths are created as we walk them. You know, it's like, it's like, we'll start to see the next steps as we go down it. And I think that this is going to be definitely something that you're not seeing that is coming is that you are going to be seeing why you're going to be seeing things on a deeper level. And also just, you're going to be like, okay, this is why I chose to do this, or this is why I'm doing this. Like you're going to, you're going to have a lot of faith renewed and a lot of relief coming for you. So, oopsies, just knocking everything over here. Hmm. I want these to where you can still kind of see them. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that. Maybe not. Good enough, right? Close enough. Okay. So let's get a couple fortunes for you before we get into the charms as well. So what is some things, Spirit, that Pile 1 does not see coming? So the first one we have for you, oh, it's Tor. Oh, well, I think it's still the same thing. I wouldn't have put it in there if it wasn't still the same thing. Or maybe that happened on accident. Oh, that could also be in regards to a missing piece. Something missing, you, you're going to find the answer to that or it's going to find you and you're going to be able to put the pieces and put the puzzle together. Okay, so the message here is it's not the amount of time you devote, but what you devote the time too that counts oh i love that so one of the things that you don't see coming it could definitely be something that you have been devoting a lot of time and energy into as well and even if you've been doubting yourself again like it's, it's the fact that it says it's not the amount of time that you put in it's what it is i feel like the benefits 
are going to be what you don't see coming or what you start to see coming. And I think that with the what too, this is something that is divinely guided. So this could be yourself. Like, even if you're like, well, I've been spending a lot of time working on myself, but you know, maybe my, my career has been lacking or I should be spending time with friends. Like, don't doubt what you have been putting your time and effort into, whatever it is, because you are going to be receiving rewards for this. And you are also your most important person in your life as well, too. It's never uh, wasted if to put pour anything into yourself as well. So we have your sense of humor is a joy to all. Oh, for some of you, you may be feeling better. That's something that you don't see coming. Like maybe you're like feeling more like yourself again, or you're starting to laugh more, or you're just having, you're seeing the, the joy in things. Since this is what you don't see coming, like maybe the fact that you're just going to be feeling better especially like maybe in your home life as well, or where you spend a lot of your time, your mood may just start to get better as well. And it could be something that you're starting to focus on more is are things that make you feel good, things that make you laugh, people that make you laugh, or shows that make you laugh, or just in general. And I think that, uh, you know, your energy is also very infecting when it comes to the people around you like so when you're in a better mood I feel like maybe the people around you will be in a better mood or you know and, and maybe you're not going to be affected as much too by the people around you at the same time like if people are in a negative space you're gonna be like well I'm still just gonna do my thing you're like yeah, that doesn't have anything to do with me <laughs> but I love that a sense of joy is in there as something that you don't see coming oh what did we just say about how it's infectious? <laughs> it literally says your endless happiness will bring a smile to a familiar face. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. I love, oh, look, even more synchronicities as well, too. So I think spirit really wants you to start paying attention to synchronicities and how things uh, are seemingly just starting to make sense again in your life. Like there's going to be things that are just happening that make more sense for you. And I love that a lot of this is about your mood as well and about how, uh, you know, you're realizing the effect that you do have on others. And um, also things that you're devoting your time to are not going to be a waste of time, regardless of what it is. You know, if you put your time and energy, and that's really how karma works. Like a lot of the time people think karma, I mean, there's different forms of karma, like your karmic path and things like that. But, you know, you create your own karma quite literally by the seeds that you plant. So if you are wondering if, you know, if there's something that's meant for you, well, if you're doing it and you're putting the effort and the time into it, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to say, yes, it is meant for you. And you will get something out of it regardless you know so let's see what the charms have to say for you about what you don't see coming so let me close my eyes because i can never do it with open eyes because then i start to see them and it just ruins it for me so spirit what is something the pile one what are things that pile one doesn't see coming in their life that they need to know about at this time please thank you okay let me take a look. I love this. First of all, we have this horse right here, which horses represent action and freedom. And I, I love how it's kind of like half in the ego and half in the manifest. And so I think what this is talking about too, is that you're going to be breaking free from your ego's limitations and you are going to start seeing the rewards of your manifestations come to you as well. Um, and I think that this is forward movement. So one of the things that you don't see coming is forward movement for you, especially in your work, since we have Pisces with intuitive, but it landed on the intuitive side. This is about you following your intuition when it comes to your work. For some of you, you could be in the line of intuitive work, <laughs> you know, like using your intuition in your work, aka like a reader or something like that this is something that you are definitely being guided to as well but for some of you if this is like a, a job change or if this is some action in regards to being taken towards your work this is your intuition saying yes to do it follow your intuition follow those nudges they are very important for you at this time and also with the intuitive message like for some of you if you felt like intuitively for for some of you like leaving a job or doing something differently whatever it is it could be so many different things because it's your intuition that is specific to you 
you know, this is saying that you are going to be following it, that this is coming through for you. And I'm also getting the message that, you know, with the work and intuitive together, again, that's that message of things are going to start making sense. Because sometimes when we follow our intuition and we do things, we're like, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know what's going to happen next because that's just the intuition. It's the ego that really wants us to stay safe and to stay in the same situations all the time but our intuition isn't going to give us all of the answers to make our ego feel safe all the time so this is a, what you don't see coming is that it's going to start making more sense for you in the line of work or in, even if it's not even just physical work or like a job or career it's like things are going to start intuitively working out for you as well like you're going to be like oh my in my intuition was at play there like it is gonna work <laughs> You know what I'm saying? There's different um, forms of that too. Whether whether or not it works all for just work, it could just be like your intuition is leading you to something that is going to work. Like, trust me, it'll work. Like your intuition is saying like, trust, it's going to work. <laughs> so that could just be someone who needed to hear that as well. Also, we have the elephant here, um, kind of like in the home and in the money. If you've been wanting to make more money or you've been working from home, for some of you, this is about things and obstacles getting removed as well. And I feel like, but for most of you, this is in regards to just the money. This is about um, going through obstacles, things getting better, something that you don't see coming. And also, um, when I think of elephants too, I think of the tremendous amount of wisdom. So I think one of the things that you don't see coming uh, or that you don't see as well is that these obstacles and challenges and possible adversities that you may have been facing or may have been going through, whether that's now in the recent past or for some of you may even um, in the near future, you, what, one of the things that you're not seeing is the amendment, tremendous, tremendous, tremendous amount of wisdom you, that you are actually gaining from this. And it's going to help you succeed more um, in regards with money or home or wherever. You know, honestly, this could be wherever. Like the wisdom that you are receiving is going to be tremendously helpful for you in the future. But on a simple note, Obstacles and challenges are definitely going to be something that is going to be getting easier or being removed completely when it comes to your money as well. Because also, when I think of elephants, I think of, um, oh, geez, of course. Oh, thank you, Spirit. I was like, okay, of course, I can't remember it right when I need to say it. But Lord Ganesh, and he is, you know, all about abundance, infinite abundance. He brings blessings and he is the elephant. And so I think that there, what you don't see coming is you will have blessings and opportunities in regards to your money situation. So this could be something that your faith has been a little bit tested on as well. Trust it will get better. It will get easier. And I love that we have two animals that are kind of like, Oh, well, we have like three animals that seemingly are kind of like moving forward. Like you can see there's like action oriented in their movements. So what you don't see coming is things are moving in a positive direction. If you felt like you've been stuck or you felt like things weren't going, they are. You just may not be able to see it yet, but eventually you will. Okay, and we also have a lot of animal spirits. That is hilarious. That message that I just got right now that is hilarious, but we're gonna I'm gonna finish my first one and, we're, and then we're gonna talk about it in the second one. Um there's a lot of animal spirits around you as well, too. For some of you, if you felt like you just recently lost a close animal to you, whether that's a dog, a cat, or every or anything like that, they are with you in spirit. Of course, that is uh, this is a general reading, so just take what resonates. But all of your animals I know are with you in spirit, regardless of the, that you've had since childhood, because I just know that. Trust, just trust me on that. I don't, I know. <laughs> and so, with that being said, um, but there's the spirit world wants you to look into specific animal spirits for sure that are around you. If you've been seeing signs and synchronicities of them, to look into that as well. Not just all dogs, but also. Oh, and that just made me think of the movie All Dogs Go to Heaven. That could be specific for someone. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that movie. I love that movie. Anyway, Spirit says don't be a weenie. That was the <laughs> that was the funny part. Not in a mean way, but the, the message is you're a lot braver than you give yourself credit for. And you are being very brave right now. So don't look at yourself as like you're being a weenie since it is like a weenie, a weenie dog that you are tremendously brave, tremendously strong, and you have a lot of spiritual support that you are more than welcome to lean in on. Because when I think of dogs as well, and the fact that it is in spirit, I think of 
loyalty. Dogs represent loyalty a lot of the time. So you have spirit backing you up on whatever it is, the decisions that you're making, you know, the moves that you're making, where you feel like you're trying to be led, your intuition, like you have spirits or spirit has your back. Okay. So don't forget that at the same time, like you, spirit loves you unconditionally. You can't be wrong in the eyes of spirit. Okay. You can't do wrong in the eyes of spirit. Okay. Um, the only, oh, my dog, my dog just started dreaming right now as well, too. Uh, that could be a sign as well, too. There could be, a, wait, listen, you might hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, actually. That could have just been a waste of time, but, oh, there it goes. Anyways, um, pay attention to your dreams as well. If you see signs and synchronicities or animals in your dreams from this point, whether or not you've been or in the future, uh, look into them. Look, like, look into them, the meanings and stuff like that, because there are specific messages for you as well. But I feel like there's also a message too, because I feel like my dog is dreaming of something that is kind of fearful as well. It's so funny that my dog's now, my dog's now an intuitive reader for you because he's adding into this and so funny. But um, we can't deny that we're talking about a dog and my dog is doing something, okay? But um, try to not fear so much and let spirit guide you in a way of like giving your fears giving giving it all to spirit at this time because there are things that are happening for you as well okay and then so in the complete ooh, this makes me think of what you're going to be completing is is a form of transformation because when i think of this symbol i think of a lot of the time it can represent to me specifically purification so if you have been going through like trials and tribulations or you've been going through a need to release a lot of things as well, like this is definitely a purification for you to have a new beginning. This is also a symbol for me specifically of new beginnings as well. So we have a cycle completing you releasing things so you can begin again. And I feel like with the unicorn here as well, this is about you and your perspective and your outlook. Don't forget to believe just because things maybe weren't happening or working away for you in the past or even in the recent past or even right now, don't forget to believe in the magic of your life and, and believe in, in the ways that things can just change for you instantly as well because this is about your beliefs. This purification was about your beliefs and these things are coming to an end. So now it's time to look at things differently. Look at things of like you can, it will, and and so on and so forth. And also embrace your uniqueness with this unicorn as well. Like, I feel like this is about you being different. And so I, if this is in the completed, this is about you, you know, kind of completing the cycle of where you were at and things kind of being different as well for you. Things going differently. Anything can change. Anything can happen at any point in time. And I think spirit really wants you to believe in your magic, to believe in the magic of the universe, believe in the magic of the synchronicities. Sometimes when we go through a lot of challenges and we go through processes or, or transformative processes, sometimes it can be easy to get stuck in the mindset of like healing, getting through this, doing this. And, you know, it's like everything's like, okay, what's the next challenge? What's the next adversity? And it's like spirits kind of like, okay, the challenges and the adversities, they seemingly are going to be slowly starting to come to an end. Let's have more fun. Let's be, let's be a little bit more unpredictable. Let's, you know, add a little bit of more magic into, into your life. I think this is something that spirit wants you to do as well with this unicorn as well. But just believe that anything is possible. Believe that you can make that money believe that you can you know be backed up by spirit believe that all of these things your manifestations the things you've been working on all of these things starts with you believing that you can at first and i think that's something that's really important so when that's this like purification process and these things are you know they're coming to an end don't forget to believe that there's better out there that there is different when one phase ends, another one begins. And that's the whole mystery and magic of it is like, you don't know what's coming. You don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's going to be something good. Okay. <laughs> so in the family, we have, what is this? The star. Oh my gosh. There's so much about having faith <laughs> in your messages as well, pile one. There's so much about faith being renewed. 
there's so much about uh healing as well and when i think of the star or the star is also the ruler or this uh, not the ruler aquarius is the ruler of the star which is also the ruler of the 11th house that we were talking about as well about our dreams and our aspirations and things like that and with this being in the family there could be a healing energy coming to you in your family whether that's your physical family or your ancestral line i feel like you could be potentially right now healing a lot of ancestral karma or ancestral wounds as well and so this is in regards to i feel to that completion and also the fact that i feel like this star was really close to the center too so we'll talk about that in a second um but also that you can have the things that you want. You can reach for the stars because this was quite literally like a hand reaching out for the star. And it's like you can reach for the stars, maybe even if it's never been done before, things that haven't been done before in your family, like like you just doing things differently, breaking cycles and stuff. Like this is something that is meant for you as well. This is something that is a part of your purpose. And so if you felt in many ways that you were kind of, I, I, I maybe I don't want to say necessarily like the black sheep, but you could feel like that or you could feel like you were just different from your family or you want different things. You want to do things differently. That's a part of your divine path as well. You're meant to be different. And yes, that does come with sometimes challenges and, and being misunderstood and things like that. But I feel like at the end of the day, it's your life and it's your dream and it's your path. And you're going to do what you feel is best for you, regardless of if it's been done before, regardless of what family members have to say, or regardless of the challenges that you are breaking with these ancestral cycles. And faith is going to be renewed for you as something that you don't see coming as well, too. When it comes to your family, it's what I'm specifically hearing from the spirit. Again, more faith being renewed in your eyes. So uh, I just feel like for a lot of you, this is something that you've been going through. Definite like challenges that have been testing you. And so I, I love to see that one of the biggest reoccurring themes is relief for you because you deserve it and you don't just need to go through challenges after challenges after challenges in your life as well too so i want you to when you start receiving these blessings when you start receiving this good when you start having your faith renewed when you start to be able to say hallelujah which was your channeled song and to say yes praise god i want you to really sit and soak in that energy as well too because sometimes we're just so focused on what what the bad things feel like or what they could be or whatever that we forget to be just as present when the good is there as well and this is going to be a part of your life specifically pile one that you're going to look back on when you are in that energy that you're going to look back on and it's going to get you through future challenges in your life because you're going to say dang there i was almost like there i am at the, on the top of the world like i can be there again i can do that again i can get through this again Hmm. Very powerful energy. Anyways, I love that we have anchored. We have an anchor here for luck. I feel like this is a message that what you don't see coming is that you are going to be in a, in a time of luck, more luck. Things are going to seem more lucky for you, even though I'm feeling for a lot of you, this is things that you've created, but things are going to seem more lucky. This is about you staying in that energy as well, too, of like things do work out for you. Again, this is kind of like that beliefs. All right, these challenges are over. Now it's time to believe in ourselves again. Now it's time to believe that we are lucky. And it's time to believe that we are also able to attract luck whenever we need it. Because a lot of the times luck isn't just pure luck, is it? A lot of the luck that we receive is divinely guided. They're blessings. They're things like that. And so this is th these are things that are intentional as well. Like you're not just lucky. You are in the vibration of these things. You are able to receive these things and you are able to stay there. Because when I think of it's like being anchored in it, it's not that uh, in this case that it's like weighing you down. It's that you're choosing to believe this. You're choosing to stay here as well. And it's like stay there for a while too. I feel like this. that's like that message again of like being present in that. You're like I can stay here for a while. And I think that this is something that you're, you don't see coming is that you've maybe been there all along. 
and it's just a matter of time and what you choose to see and what you choose to believe a lot of the time and I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong at right now because of course there's always things that uh, challenge us or knock us out of the beliefs and things like that and those are just as divinely guided as the good things as well too so remember that just like the it's all equally as important but I think when you, when you're in this sense of like things are working out you know um it's going to be a relief. It's going to be good. And also, Spirit wants you to stay grounded when things are starting to show up for you. Like, you could start to get anxiety, like, if things start working out for you, you know, because what you don't see coming is, like, all of this is, like, seemingly, like, luck for you. Like, Spirit wants you to stay grounded as well and stay anchored into your heart space and remember that you freaking deserve it and that it's not it's something that you, you can just ruin or it's not something that just goes away like you you're always there you've always had it in you and you always will be so try to stay grounded as well during this period of prosperity and period of luck like I, I'm getting it's almost like the message of like somebody thinking like oh well it, you know this is happening for me but I'm just gonna ruin it or it's not gonna be what it what it looks like you know what I'm saying? Those are just doubts and, and fears. So try to stay rooted and grounded when you start receiving as well. Okay, now we're going to talk about the last one for you. And I saved this one for last because it does seemingly be, it is more in the abundance. But this, when I personally, this is just what I do personally. I don't know if any other charm caster or charm reader does this, but I, when it all kind of meets together in the middle, I call that the self, like that, that's the self one. And so yes, it is in the abundance and the fact that it is Taurus energy, which Taurus is like the ruler of the second house, which is about luxury and about abundance and things like that. This is about you and yourself, you know, specifically realizing that you are an abundant person, that you are somebody who can create abundance no matter what the circumstances is. You are somebody that has everything that they need. The second house a lot of the time is about material uh, things as well. And it's also about your values and what you put values on. And I think the fact that you, what you don't see coming is that you've been working on yourself and you've been putting more value into yourself and, and what you're worth and what you decide is your, is worthy of your time and your energy. I think one of the things that you don't see coming is that this is going to be attracting a lot of abundance for you and a lot of things all together. You know, it's like all coming from within you. And it's a place when I think of the bull, I think of a place of power as well too, and a place of strength all starting from within and kind of branching out and shooting out. So it's like one of the things that you don't see coming is that you have had the power all along. You are powerful and that this abundance is for you, quite literally for you. This could be a time of second house things, material wealth. And if that's something that you've been kind of going through a challenge, then this is like challenge with is like money, material things. This is confirmation for you specifically that that's why, like I said, all that wisdom as well. And so it's like when you do receive this, when you do have this, it's going to be in a good space. You're going to be in the right space this time for it and open to receiving as well. But yeah, a lot of abundance coming for you. I love that. My dog is snoring now. Oh, my, my dog was, oh, guys. So my dog was like dreaming and they were like fearful dreams and kind of going through it. Now my dog is like snoring like a cartoon character. And so maybe that's more relaxation coming for you as well. Okay, right when I cut the deck, you couldn't see it, but it was the star card coming out again. So what advice do we have here in regards to all of these things, Spirit, please, for pile one? What advice do we have? The Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh, that you are fulfilled. Okay, first of all, the advice is that you have the power to emotionally fulfill yourself regardless of what you have around you and who you have around you. But trust again that your wishes are going are your are going to be granted. I like to call the Nine of Cups the genie card at times because it's like, what are you wishing for? What are you wanting? You know, it's coming. Your wishes will be fulfilled. Like, look at this person. They're like sitting there with their arms crossed, so content because they have everything that they've asked for. And I think that this time of prosperity is going to be so healing for you, Pile One. It's going to be so beautiful and so healing. And like, that's why I kept getting that message as well to bask in the ambience of it. 
be present with it. You deserve it. Focus on things that make you feel good and leave the rest up to spirit, you know, at the, at the end of the day. And I think that this is such an, an energy of emotional fulfillment. And I can't help but to also see that it's the nine of cups which is kind of the nine in in tarot a lot of the time is like a single energy and that doesn't mean that you may or may not have a partner but it's like this is for you specifically for you and about you specifically same thing with that whole taurus energy being in the center like all of this is for you and what's important to you is what's important to spirit at the same time and i think that there's such an, a beautiful energy of like remembering that spirit wants what you want as well too sometimes we receive it in different times in different ways but at the same time like spirit wants you to be happy as well too it's not like the world is out to get you like you are going to be receiving this emotional satisfaction this wish fulfillment in many different ways as well because there's many different cups there's many different ways for this to be for for you as well and i think one of the things that specifically is if you were kind of going through a time where it did seem like there was lack or you were kind of doubting or your faith was tested Spirit wants you to pay attention to how the duality of that affects you as well. Like basically the message as well as well as like if you go without, how grateful are you to have again and to really be in that energy and to really receive it and to really enjoy it is something that Spirit is saying, please do. Please do. Ooh, yeah, let let down your defenses as well. You don't have to be so defensive when it this when these things are starting to um happen for you as well. So let's get one more card here. What is advice? Oh, we have the page of cups. I love that. Ooh, we have the two of cups underneath as well, too. So maybe after that emotional fulfillment, guys, and the three of wands after. Maybe the fact that you are now coming into an energy or going to be coming into an energy where you are 100% satisfied and okay on your own. Spirit's like, there's other surprises in store for you as well too. So if there's like a relationship or love that you've been wanting or maybe like just a relationship in general in your life with the three of wands being here about going out, setting out the journey, things, you know, the next steps and things like that. Like after that, maybe the next step here for you technically is a, a connection, but maybe it took you being satisfied on your own. Like maybe you had to realize or go through certain things that made you, you know, feel like, okay, it's my time now. And then spirit's like, wait, there's also more. <laughs> And there's also more because a lot of time the page of cups represents surprises there's like that fish coming out of the cup it's like whoa how did that get there so there are those things shut up we have the eight of wands which is about coming towards you so spirit's really saying don't worry those things are coming this connection is coming if if this is a connection that you are already in and maybe you want renewal in it or you want uh you know it to get better or whatever I don't know, <laughs> maybe healing or just maybe just more exciting, whatever it is, you know, that is coming as well too. But I think for the most part, this is a message for my singles or maybe my recently uh, separated people out there that there are those things coming for you. Focus on yourself, focus on your joy. In the meantime, there's nothing wrong as well with wanting a connection. There's no shame in wanting love and and wanting a connection that you deserve that's natural and that's part of the human experience and that's what we do okay is we want some things but in the meantime so set your sights high for that put it put your you know put your uh take it in your manifestation take it in like say that's what i want this that's what i deserve it'll come to you in the meantime focus on yourself focus on things that renew your spirit that make you feel youthful again that bring you joy and a sense of love you know, it, it basically your inner child is the one who leads you in that direction. <laughs> so follow your inner child's voice, those intuitive nudges at the same time and trust that everything else is playing out for you and everything else that you deserve and that you want is coming because look at you have all of this manifestation energy, this wish fulfillment energy as well. Um, it's only a matter of time. Okay, but don't focus too, too much on what you don't have. Focus on what you do have and expect what you don't have to come in because it will, it's going to. 
especially if this reading resonated you wouldn't still be here at the end of this reading if it didn't resonate i'm so sure so um unless you just like to hear me talk if you do <laughs> love you <laughs> thanks for that but at the same time just know that it's it's all happening for you, even if it doesn't seem like it, it is, okay? And it will. And that can simply just be a perspective shift like that, you know? Because at the same time, we kind of saw some things in your reading as well that kind of, that do indicate that there were challenges and there were things that happened that you're going to be seeing why. Sometimes it doesn't make sense yet, but it will eventually for you. And even if it never, certain things never make sense, you know, it doesn't mean you have to stay in that energy. It's about letting go and, and embracing whatever you want to embrace. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. These readings always end up being so much longer than I planned, but Hey, uh, I hope you got something out of it. Hopefully you got some information or something of that nature. And I want to say thank you for being here. I also want to say thank you to all who like the videos, all who comment and share your experiences, share your stories, share your love, love you guys. And most importantly, thank you to all my subscribers. I love you guys so much. And I'm so grateful for every single one of you. And I can't wait to read for you guys in the future. So I will see you there. Also, if you are not subscribed, but you would like to see future readings, or you can see all of the timeless tarot readings and charm casting readings that I have already posted on my channel. You're more than welcome for, to see that as well, too, if you are subscribed. So, well, you can see it if you're not subscribed, but it, this is subscription is for so you don't miss out or you see it when it pops up. You you guys know how this whole YouTube thing works. What am I here explaining this to you for? But if you would like that, then go ahead and subscribe now. <laughs> go ahead and click that subscribe button if you would like. Um, of course, if you don't want to, that's fine, too. Maybe we will cross paths again. Who knows? But thank you for being here, and I will see you then. Bye. Hi, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading. If you felt drawn to the crown, then this is your messages. So today we are looking at what you don't see coming. Things that you don't see coming, whether that's because they're in your blind spot, you're just not aware of them yet, or they're just coming to you and you literally have no idea. Whatever whatever the reason is, they're th things you don't see coming. So we're going to start off with an oracle from the divine doors deck then we're going to be getting some fortunes for you on what you don't see coming as well and when i say fortunes i mean quite literally like the little pieces of paper that come out of the fortune cookies that's what we're going to be looking at so let's start with your first message so spirit what is something that pile two does not see coming here what is something that pile two does not see coming so we have these nice fancy looking doors with some big knockers haha <laughs> oh it was one 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 right when i said that it has nothing to do with the knockers but everything to do with the one 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 that could be a significant number for you and big knockers could be significant in many different forms for you as well just kidding okay sorry on a serious note, let's see what your messages are. Oh, that's a big knocker. Destiny is knocking at the door for you, pile two. One door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. Wow, something that you don't see coming is that de destiny is working for you right now. So whatever has been happening in your life, if there have been significant endings or if there have been challenges, if you felt like you've had to leave places, people, things, this is for you, for your purpose, as well as wherever you have been feeling guided, you are destined to go. I love that for you. Um, I was going to say something else. Oh yeah, one door closes, another opens for you. I feel like what you don't see coming as well is there's a lot of new beginnings in situations for you, especially if you felt like you had to close doors. Even if you felt like you haven't had to close specific doors, this is about new beginnings for you. And maybe things seemingly kind of taking over, like it's seeming like things are going to be more meant to be 
in your future, when it comes to situations, when it comes to your life in general. Because when I think of destiny, you're like, oh my gosh, this is this was meant to be. So you may be getting some clarity as well as to why things happened or why certain things had to play out the way that they played out in order for you to receive the things that are truly meant for you. Wow. I don't know why when I flipped it over and I saw destiny, I was like, I got a little shook like that kind of like, I don't know, I was a little taken back. I was like, whoa, so maybe there's some big energy coming towards you as well. Big things, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. So with the fortunes spirit, what is pile two? not see coming? I'm trying to grab some, but not grab like 20 of them. Okay. So the first one we have for something you don't see coming is your endless happiness will bring a smile to a familiar face. Ooh, so maybe one of the things you don't see coming is that you're going to start seeing the effect that you have on the people around you. It doesn't have to necessarily just be happiness, although of course I, I would hope that it is. <laughs> but I think it's like the things that you've gone through, whether this is like sharing your experiences, sharing your story, or maybe just that you have loved ones around you or a specific person around you is going to be just expressing to you like how much you affect them in a way you know like not necessarily just like their feelings but i feel like this is a very much like an appreciation type of energy like you're going to start to see that you are appreciated you're going to start to see that you do have an effect on the people around you whether this is just your immediate family the people that you just interact with on a daily basis or this is maybe like peers or for some of you this could be like if you are uh, someone who like posts things, you know, on social media, this could be, it could be anything. Your presence, it has an effect, okay? This is something that you don't see coming, that your presence actually does have an effect. You do make a difference for sure. If you feel as though sometimes you're underappreciated or your efforts go unseen or that you don't make a difference or things like that, this is definitely saying you do. And I think that you may not even see how much of a difference you actually do make so you are important pile two we're gonna start with that your presence is very much important and very much needed or else you wouldn't be here and sometimes that sounds too simple to be true but it is just that you would not be here quite literally if you were not needed okay so the next one we have is it's in your moments of decision <gasps> that your destiny is shaped <laughs> I freaking love synchronicities like that. Okay, so we have destiny twice. And this is very true as well. This kind of, this came up in uh, pile one, but in a way different form. Like, and it's just basically what I'm about to say is that sometimes we forget that we are, what's that quote? We are the captains of our own souls, that we are the leaders, you know, of our own lives and when it comes to karma and destiny, yes, I do believe that everyone has a karmic path that necessarily maybe our decisions, the, like our ego's decisions, I guess you would say, because it's our soul that is gonna is leading us through that regardless. But our ego's decisions may not have a say in on certain things. But when it comes to like karma, it's you can you can definitely have control in creating your own karma like basically like good karma is the rewards it's like i'm trying to explain this in a way that kind of makes sense like basically it's like planting seeds like the efforts and the decisions that you make towards that it can go this way it can go this way like you can put an effort to make something grow or you can put an effort or not put an effort or do something or make decisions and actions that are going to get the opposite effect that you know and that is all based off of what you're choosing to plant the seeds and how you're choosing to nourish them that is creating karma you are somebody who is possibly able to or that not possibly you are somebody who is able to create your own karma and it's all through your decisions and the choices that you make and everything we kind of underestimate at times is a choice we choose to do things like we choose to 
even though it could be on a subconscious level, we're still in some way, shape or form choosing something or choosing something. So I think one of the things that you don't see coming is that a lot of the decisions that you've been making are really going to start unraveling and showing you the purpose. It's going to be almost like it is just a destiny for you. And I think that one of the things that you're going to be seeing as well is that your intuition has been leading you. Even if it doesn't feel like it, even if you've been doubting yourself, you've been doing what you need to do. Yeah. Okay. I was waiting if there was like any other messages with that, but that was pretty much it. But yeah, you're going to be seeing how your decisions have been affecting your life, whether that's a call for action, a call for change, and also a call for appreciation. <laughs> and that could, all of those things could be true. You know what I'm saying? Like all of those things could be true at the same time. But I love that we have destiny coming through. And also with this destiny card as well, and this, it's like, when things don't work out, you're going, to, if things haven't worked out, when they don't in your life, you know, in the past and things like that, you're going to be seen. Why? It's like, I, I'm getting a message of like, it's because there was something better. Hmm. But also, again, your decisions are really important uh, as well. The, all of our decisions are really important too. But there's something specifically like within that, that I just feel, I just feel really like drawn to the decision making part. And I think that for a lot of you, that is because you've been questioning your choices. And so I think that spirit is coming through to say to have a little bit more trust in yourself and in your ability to make the right decisions for yourself. Okay. So the last one we have is, oh, compassion is a way of being. Oh, so more compassion is something that is going to be coming into your life. But also one of the things that you don't see coming is that you have been a little bit too hard on yourself. And I think that you need to have more compassion for yourself in this journey and in, in this life, because there's some things here that are I'm getting specifically from spirit that you don't fully understand yet, that you will that you will be seeing. And so you may be unnecessarily hard on yourself right now for things that are meant to be the way that they're meant to be. So maybe try to just be nice. Be like I, in trusting in yourself. <laughs> I don't know how to say it like any more like complicated. It's pretty simple. Like be nice to yourself because there's some things that you don't understand right now and you don't deserve a lot of the criticism that I feel like you may be giving to yourself right now. Or maybe if you're just feeling like you're giving yourself a little bit of a hard time. And this could be for others as well too, being more compassionate towards others because it says it is a way of being, which is like compassion is an action. It is. It's like, you know, and it's a choice as well too, to look at things through the lens of compassion rather than judgment. So I think that one of the things that you don't see coming, yes, is that you've been kind of judging yourself a little bit harshly and you're going to start seeing things make more sense or things are going to be shown to you. And spirit wants you to take this as a lesson as well to have more compassion for yourself and again, more trust in your choices. Okay. So now that we got that, sorry, that was really loud, probably for you. Oh my gosh, if you're wearing headphones, I probably just blew your freaking ears out. I'm so sorry. I try to keep, I try to be considerate to the, to the headphone wearers and stuff, <laughs> but the charms can be very loud at the same time. So I apologize. So let's get into your charm reading now. So spirit, what are some things that pile two does not see coming that pile two should know at this time, please? Thank you. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Okay. Where do I even want to start? Let's start with this one. We have a feather right above the romance, which I feel like there is going to be a situation. There is a, or there was a situation or is a situation that you are seeing signs from, whether that's like a romantic partner and things like that. Um, this could be something signs that a specific romantic partner is coming into your life. Oh my gosh. I almost said coming back into your life. So that if that's something that you've been wanting or that's something that you've been feeling that message is for you. If you do not want somebody to come back into your life, do not 
that's just uh do not shoot the messenger that was just for a specific group of people that's not necessarily for you because if you don't want that then you don't have to choose that even if someone comes back into your life if that's not what you want you obviously have the choice to say no um and if they don't respect that then they shouldn't be in your life but okay regardless this is about the synchronicities and the signs and also i'm seeing faith faith here for some reason with this feather that things will be working out that things will be happening for you in the romance but I feel like because the fact that it was a little bit out here you know it's kind of it's kind of saying to me it's not quite there yet but you're seeing signs that there is something coming for some of you if you feel like you've kind of been yearning for somebody or if you've been yearning for for a romantic situation this could be a sign as well that you are also going to um it's coming. Just know that it's coming. <laughs> but um, for the most part, if you are if you are yearning, though, try to focus on self love as well. Usually, that's a sign that we're yearning for something that we are most likely able to give ourselves in the meantime. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with craving connection. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with wanting a relationship or wanting romance. That is something that you should want in the, a romantic situation or a connection that you deserve. Something that's natural. It's human. We crave connections and, and things like that. Um, so also don't, if you've been wanting to manifest that, like uh, you can, um, is what I'm hearing. Like basically, you know, put in your affirmations, put in your prayers or whatever. And then in the meantime, focus on yourself. That's all you got to do. Be the best version of yourself. So then the best version of somebody else can come and meet you right where you're at as well at the same time. So it looks like things in the home, in your home life, there's going to be, you're going to be feeling more freedom. Something that you don't see coming with this horse here is that there is going to be action in regards to a home. So whether this is like taking action in getting a new home or taking action in um, cleaning, adjusting, fixing up your home as well. But home can also be representation of like the heart. Also, I'm, for some reason, I'm really feeling like the fourth house here, which does represent the home and things like that. But the fourth, fourth house is usually the IC in the birth chart, which is like the lowest point. And I feel like there's in regards to like inner child healing and things like that, there is going to be more freedom that comes with that. So that's a specific message with that as well, too. But I feel like you are going to just be feeling more free, whether that's in your quite literal house or just where you spend a lot of your time at. So that could be a message as well to take care of those things, clean those things up, make sure that you are making it to where you have the best feelings, the best choice, you're making the best choices in there as well to have like, like, for example, like if you feel like you need to um like you feel like you have a lot of clutter you know uh it, an example would be to get rid of a lot of the clutter or clean up a lot of the clutter maybe like donate things stuff like that just clear it out and you will feel a more sense of freedom there you know you'll be feeling better so if that's something you've been called to do I would definitely do that but for the most part, I think that this is about forward movement for you. So for some of you, you could quite literally be wanting to move from your home. This is saying that what you don't see coming is that you will have the opportunity to do that. And it will be it will be something that you will have, okay? Um, that things are moving in that direction. And if you've just been feeling, you know, really cooped up lately or in your home, you know, it's time to get out. What you don't see coming is that it's time to get out of your home. It's time to get out of that and do things, have fun. Because there's, I have a couple different horses, I, I feel like, in this charms. At least I've seen seen them. And this one looks a little crazy, right? It looks like he's like having fun. His, his hair and his mane and his tail are all everywhere. And he's like dancing and stuff. So maybe do things as well to... uh have more fun i think for some of you there's a message too again if you've been feeling or or there will be since this is like a what you don't see coming reading there will be opportunities for you to kind of get out of the same place you've been and just let your hair down or if you don't have hair just pretend you do and let it down <laughs> and um uh, yeah have a good time. I think this is about you having a good time. Also, do things you can also do things to have a good time in your home as well, too. Like, I just feel like you're going to be feeling better, you know? And also, I'm getting a specific message, too. Like, if you've been called to change your home, like, if you've been feeling, like, down lately or, like, you've been going through maybe a process to where you've been feeling um, just not your best, but you've obviously been 
in your home like you know you know a lot of times like our rooms is where we spend a lot of time where we do a lot of introspection where we go through a lot of hard times as well when you start feeling better because you will this is saying to switch up your environment too, like maybe get some new sheets or change the decor or do something do something that it just makes it look different because i think there's a message specifically that you underestimate the effect that that will have like it's like if you're going through changes when you change things that you're constantly looking at or like your sense i know that sounds so weird but it's like a, a lot of the time if i go through like changes or like if i'm going through like a breakup or something like that like one of the things i like to do is like if i have the same scent all the time like the same lotion or the same spray i like to change it because i just want i'm craving different and i need and i need my reality to match that especially if i'm stuck in wanting the same old things you know what i'm saying i gotta change i gotta change it up and i know that sounds so weird but it's like an intuitive thing and so just change it up and, <laughs> and watch how you feel and this is also things that you don't see coming too so this is like i feel like you will be feeling like that maybe um some of the messages coming for you specifically pile two is like this is to help you when that happens you know it's like if you've been feeling called to do that you're gonna be like oh i remember that one that one youtube tarot lady said that and and then you're gonna be like oh okay i'll do it then or i'll see i'll see what she was talking about we'll see oh look there's another oh my gosh there's another horse and i was like this one looks like crazy <laughs> do you see what i'm talking about this one looks like normal where was that where was that was that here i really hope it was here oh my gosh don't kill me if it wasn't here if it, i'm pretty sure it was though so now i'm doubting myself okay well it's there because that's where it is now okay i don't want to hear it in the comments if i moved it on accident i apologize but it's there now so anyways moving on we're gonna move on to the money i love 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 this for you because i feel like spirit is guiding you and bringing you some more luck in the money department we have a bird with a four leaf clover in the money and that is just i think about like you going through a lucky period or feeling like you're you're getting more luck in, in in the money like your finances could be increasing but also with the bird i feel like this is like faith as well being renewed like this is like you almost being kind of rewarded in a sense of like if you've had to have faith and when it comes to money um this is definitely saying like look here it comes something that you don't see coming is that it's coming as well i think it's going to be a sense of you feeling like this is luck but this is something that is meant for you as well too i mean look at we have all that destiny energy at the same time like this is something that is going to be meant for you but it may just feel like luck but it's being brought to you here by spirit which i love i love so much for you and speaking of spirit that's the next one that we have we have a card which is the strength card Ooh, i love that because one of the things that um these to spirit and strength is that sometimes we don't realize how strong we truly are and how how resilient our spirit truly is this is a reminder that you are ridiculously resilient and you have the power to get through any obstacle and any challenge and any adversity in your life like this is saying that you are strong enough to overcome it or else it wouldn't be there another message with this as well too is the spiritual strength that you actually have is ridiculous and the spiritual support with strength being here in the spirit column like i feel like this is saying that you may also forget sometimes that you have a bunch of spiritual support and a lot of strength in the spiritual realm that you can lean on that you can rely on as well so don't forget about that but yeah your spirit is ridiculously strong and you didn't come here on this earth to to be a little weakling is what i'm hearing like you are somebody who is powerful you are somebody who is spiritual whether you claim that or not you know and you are somebody who, like I said, is ridiculously resilient. And sometimes when we are going through things, we kind of, it's good to have a little perspective shift. It's good to have a little reminder that says, hey, I am strong. Hey, you know, these challenges aren't here to break me. I don't need to worry about that happening because that's not why they're here. They're here for me to overcome. They're here for me to learn. And I have so much support by spirit that it's like it, it's like if you knew how much you were supported in the spiritual realm pile two you would never worry about anything ever again at all but you know we're here on this earth and we forget and we you know we kind of get in our heads and things like that so just remember the strength that you have here and there both sides all sides <laughs> um 
Also, the strength card reminds me of Leo as well. Uh, shine your light. Your spirit is, is a beautiful beacon of light for a lot of people. And um, have confidence in yourself and have confidence in the fact that your spirit is guiding you, your higher self is guiding you, and that they know what the heck they're doing, okay? That's one of the things that I feel like is common as well, too. Sometimes we forget that there's there's a higher power out there that knows what it's doing. And we're like, we're like, just thinking like, it shouldn't be like this, or it shouldn't go this way, or this shouldn't be. But usually it, it is, it should. And it will. <laughs> there's nothing. We, I was gonna say there's nothing we can do about it, but there's always something we can do about it. But I feel like this, in regards to that specifically, it's like spirits kind of has can you like your higher self is is definitely in control for you, and you need to trust a little bit more because your higher self leads you through the decisions you make, through those nudges, and through those things as well. So don't forget that um, you're not alone for sure. It's not just you in this thing. I don't know why I said it in this thing. That made me think of that song, Yin Yang, in this thing. I, and I have no idea why that is either. Maybe that's a sign for somebody, but I... That would be crazy. That song gets gets me going, though. Just play that song and I'm pumped. <laughs> play that song. Play Yin Yang in this thing. And first thing in the morning, sleepy who? Depressed who? <laughs> maybe that maybe that could be a sign for you to play music or, or something like in the morning or something that's what I like to do honestly but um maybe specifically yin yang in this thing I don't freaking know okay so let's move on to the next one we have this in complete okay so I feel like if you again if you've been going through challenges or you've been going through things where you feel like your faith is really being tested or like you're almost like you're like okay I'm losing faith in this what's how much longer what's going on here I think this is going to be something that is going to be leaving your life something that you don't see coming is that eventually this is going to be over sooner I since you're watching this whenever you're watching this sooner rather than later because this is supposed to be what you don't see coming into your life soon so <laughs> sooner rather than later I do feel like also um hmm there's a um, spirit okay I don't know if that message is for everybody but I feel as though because I was a little bit hesitant to say to say it's not like it's a it's not even a crazy message or anything like that but I think for the majority it's that faith here with the cross and the complete but I want to say that there's something here that's manifesting for some of you in the physical and it's like it's almost done in the metaphysical and it's coming to the physical if that makes sense because a lot of the time when I think of crosses as well and not just and I'm not just a like a religious cross like when I just think of like this symbol like if you were to just draw a cross like a plus sign it's like the meetings of both worlds it's you know, as above, so below, you know, that kind of thing. It's like where it meets, the point of where it meets. And so there's something here specifically that is going to be meeting you in the physical. And I think it's like almost ready. It's almost done. It's almost complete. It's coming. So that could be a very specific message. I'm going to say that you would feel that one intuitively or in your heart or something like you would feel like that's for you whether you got excited whatever kind of reaction you had if you didn't have a reaction for that then that message wasn't for you but yes like your faith has been seen it has been tested your prayers have been heard okay and the things are about to end and I love that we had one door closes, another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. And that reaction that I got from destiny, I just keep remembering like when it said destiny, I don't know why I was like, <gasps> so things are about to be, like things are ending and new things are beginning and your faith has not gone on, gone unnoticed, unseen. Your efforts have not gone unrewarded and unseen as well, Okay. So uh, this one is really interesting with the family here. So we have the Libra charm, but it, it landed on charming. And we also have this charm, which represents to me mirroring and shadow work specifically because it's like the, it's like a black mirror as well. Ooh, black mirror is a really good show, but that's not, has nothing to do with what we're talking about whatsoever. But, um, so I feel as though... If you have been getting triggered lately for some of you by your family, 
there's some mirroring that's going on here and some self-reflection that spirit wants you to look into and wants you to see. Um, that, again, could be a specific message. But it's about that things are mirrors to show us what we need to see within ourselves. So if you've been getting triggered lately by your family or if you've been getting... Um, they've been pissing you off or you feel as though there's something here, some kind of ancestral wound or some kind of family wound, whether that's mother, father, siblings, doesn't matter. It's whatever it is to you. Spirit's saying really look into that. That's something important that you need to see um, within yourself. And it's something that can be tremendously healing. Also, I feel like with this charming, don't forget or don't doubt that even if you have differences within your family i think that you may not be seeing how much they do adore you and how much they do appreciate you for who you are and how you are some of those judgments may be coming from within for some of you unless you and and, and then unless the your family had like flat out said something you know what i'm saying like then that's like that kind of the first message but i think for some of you you're a lot more loved than I think sometimes you feel. And that may not even be your fault at all. That may be from the other side, like from your family. But I think that you're amazing. Like with the charming, it's like regardless of how your family or how maybe even other people have made you feel about yourself, like you are, okay, okay, can we just hold on please? Before, can I finish a thought before the other... Uh, messages come through anyways you're amazing regardless okay you're beautiful there's nothing wrong with you okay there's nothing wrong with you there could just be some inner work that are stemming stems from maybe even family past so one of the other messages that came through is that maybe how you see yourself is mirrored by your upbringing so like say if you have some sort of self-esteem issues if you can think back to like maybe like your family or like your mom or, or whoever or whoever raised you uh, if they had self-esteem issues as well that could have been something that is engraved within you that wasn't yours it was kind of conditioned as well so that means that there isn't anything really wrong with you so like say for example like your mom was always really self-conscious about their you know her body or something like that and then you're really self-conscious about your body like I think sometimes you under you may underestimate and there may be some keys within your healing on your childhood and how you saw your mom or, or what you heard her say you know in that kind of example but it could be for any family member of any time also this could even go deeper and it could be ancestral like passed on loved ones as well that kind of hide within our psyche that kind of hide within our subconscious because those things are still there as well so just remember you know your self-image and things like that it could be conditioned as well a lot of these things are conditioned by our family and they're not necessarily truth or normal it's just what it is or what it was it doesn't have to be that way as well many different messages coming for each and every one of you for family. So any kind of family issues, whether that's in the, in the physical again, or the metaphysical, like the ancestral, you know, there is a lot of shadow work that I think you will be doing because this is what you don't see coming. But I think it's going to be tremendously helpful for the way you view yourself with this charming here, because it's this charming charm is just telling me that you're amazing. You're wonderful. And maybe anything that you can't see that or any reason why you can't see that within yourself could have something to do with your, your family line or ancestors, or maybe things that you were told growing up. And it's time to shed those beliefs. And it's time to see yourself for how you truly are and who you truly are, which is one beautiful, amazing God, goddess, whatever you want to, whatever you want to be, you know, and um, that's that. <laughs> that's that for that one okay and then so in the release we have two charms so we have the horse oh wait or was this one here no it was here right so sorry about that anyways we're gonna read it how it was so with this in the release we have the virgo charm okay release that inner self-critic about yourself like again i think that you maybe a little bit critical, too critical about what, whether, you know, you're doing the right thing, what, how you look, anything like that. I feel like there's this, 
voice here that spirit wants you to release in your head and that's your inner critic because you're doing a hell of a job and I think you're doing way a lot better than you give yourself credit for and even if you don't think that you're doing anything or you don't think that you're doing good or you don't think that you're doing better you, just being here on earth is hard enough okay <laughs> at times just being here is enough you don't need to be harder on yourself than you already are um you don't need to be anything oh my gosh I was hearing Lana Del Rey um you don't need to be anything more than you already are you don't need to be stronger than you already are what's that lyric then you whatever I know someone's gonna know it but she's like you don't have to be anything any stronger than you already are when you're with me you're just enough something like that just whatever I said, take that. Let's, you're just enough, okay? Um, you are good enough for the things that you want. You are good enough for the people that you want. Even if somebody does not see your value as being good enough, that's not a project. That's not a, a directly because of you. It's usually because of them. And the right people will see you for who you truly are. The right people will see that you are so amazing and so worthy and stuff like that. So do not worry about anything or anyone else that doesn't and also I'm getting this a message from spirit again conditioning there's a lot of conditioning that you are going to be releasing here when it comes to your inner critic you're going to be realizing that these were all things that other people had said whether that was about themselves or they said about you it's like everything we've ever known in our society and everything is conditioned nothing truly makes sense when you think about it if you were to look at it in a, in a way of like why does that have to be that way it doesn't it's all just conditioning we just do things because we were told that that's how we do them and I think that you've been criticized in your past or there was voices that have told you or opinions that have told you who you were because that that was projections of who other people thought that they were and I think one of the things that you're not seeing is that that some of those voices and some of those opinions still affect you to this day and they may affect your decision making or they may affect your choices or even if they don't necessarily affect your decisions they may be that voice of doubt that makes you doubt yourself or makes you feel sometimes that you're not good enough or you're not doing enough or you're, you're it should be better you know what I'm saying or it has to be perfect all of those things is something that you are going to be releasing and you are going to be taking action in because we have another action card and it's like you're going to be not doing that from the ego anymore and I think that you're going to be freeing yourself from your ego's restrictions at the same time since horses again represent freedom as well and our ego is usually quite the opposite our ego usually wants to keep us safe and wants to keep us in the same pattern in the same cycle so there's also a lot of messages and synchronicities and you're reading about you breaking patterns and breaking cycles and and with the ego here and that being a part of the ego i want you to understand that these things are gonna be challenging they're gonna make you maybe feel like you're doing the wrong thing because your ego is gonna want to stay safe but you're really being guided to get out of your comfort zone to quiet that inner critic and to do what makes you feel like the best to do what makes you feel free to be on your path with this destiny card as well and to realize that none of those things are true that you know are just holding you back I feel like one of the main things here that I, I'm seeing now is we have a lot of things about strength and a lot of things about faith and a lot of things about freedom I think a lot of things that you're going to be seeing what you don't see coming is you're going to be breaking free from the old ways of doing things which hence you know completing a cycle and I think that that's really beautiful and I think that there's a lot of inner child healing coming for you and a lot of self love self appreciation because I'm feeling very strongly that I just want to like give you a huge hug and I just want to tell you that you are <laughs> there's like so many things I want to tell you but the most importantly what I want to tell you is like you are so much more capable then I think you even realize or you even give yourself credit for it's almost like spirit keeps giving me this message of like how other people see you 
is not how you see yourself. And it doesn't normally matter how other people see you. But when other people are seeing you as somebody who is amazing, somebody who has got it, like at times maybe got it all figured out, someone who they is not doesn't need to be worried about like someone who is perfectly capable and you're seeing yourself as some as somebody who sometimes or you're feeling within yourself that you're not you know I think that that is kind of an an awakening or an eye opener to like you should have more faith in yourself you should be your number one supporter and I think this is something that you've been working on but I it's like this passionate energy that keeps moving through me of like oh my gosh pile two like if you could just see if you could just see it from the eyes of love, if you could just see it from a different perspective on how you truly are and what you're truly capable of, like, it's crazy. Like, I think the way you come off to other people, you may even be, like, you know, shocked. And like I said, it's not about other people, but it's, like, sometimes we need to see something from a different perspective, especially ourselves. If, if there's... Because people are seeing something... They're seeing truth within you, whether that's like this confidence, this way of being, this way of doing things where they just feel like you're like you've got it. Maybe sometimes that's jealousy as well. Maybe you attract jealousy from other people as well. And if you don't feel like that on the inside, I think it's because you just aren't believing in yourself enough. And there is some healing that is coming when regards to your inner child in regards to family core wounds here as well. That's going to make you see how freaking awesome you truly are. I think that at times, not no fault of your own, you've had a distorted vision of yourself, a distorted image of yourself for a really long time. And I think that there's going to be a lot of forgiveness coming to you and forgiveness to yourself and for, you know, your family and past in past things and all of this conditioning as well. But it's going to be something that's very freeing. And it's also going to be something that takes time, like quieting the inner critic and quieting that voice in your head that tells you you're not good enough or that you should be doing better. It's not something that it's just like you decide, oh, okay, I'm going to decide and it goes away. It is a process, but it's a process that's worth it. And freeing yourself from your ego's restraints is going to be exactly where you're meant to be on the other side. It's almost like that image of like, or that message of like, everything that you've ever wanted is right beyond the <laughs> the things that are holding you back. Like those fears and limitations that are holding you back, aka your ego. Everything that you've ever wanted in life that you've ever wanted to achieve or that's ever been meant for you is quite literally right beyond that and that's like the message that I'm getting here so you have big powerful energy stepping in and kind of your higher self taking control just remember that though when you are going through challenges when it does seem difficult or when you do have those fears and those doubts whether that's fears of doubts of being alone breaking free of old cycles of old people you know or doing things you know in regards to your family or just anything or like taking those next steps in your career anything you know that is worth worth it and is worth the risk is probably going to scare you a little bit but you are 100% capable according to everyone else but yourself at times and that's kind of frustrating I think that's what that was frustrating it's like according to everyone else they see that you're 100% capable and that you're amazing and you're talented and you have all of these great things but um, at times the only one who can't see it is you and the, what you see about yourself is the most important opinion. Your opinion of yourself is the most important one because you're the most important person and you're the one that runs the show <laughs> at the end of the day. So there's going to be, what I can see is a lot of self-healing. Ooh, you have a crown as well too. Your own sovereignty, taking back control. Like you are the king and queen of your life. You are the master of your own life. And I think that this is something that you don't see coming is that you are going to be experiencing that and you are going to be moving and you are moving into those steps to being back into your own sovereignty. And that does come with removal of conditioning from society, from family, from our childhood, things that experiences that we don't even quite remember. Sometimes we don't even uh, like realize that they have an effect on us. And so this is something that is a part of your journey because you're meant to be who you were always meant to be, not who you were told you were. And I'm getting for some of you, that's about relationships as well, too. Like people have told you this is like if, if you have family members that have settled or you've not maybe seen the best, most healthiest relationships in your life, you know, that's what we're taught is is love. And I think that you're meant to 
surpass those expectations and do things differently and that's why we have that like energy of that family too like things you're doing things differently you're being the change that needs to be and that's hard that's hard so commend yourself you're amazing okay on that note again these readings always go so much longer than i intend so if you're still here thank you so much love you let's get some advice oh we have the eight of pentacles the advice is keep working at it keep going you got this like you are somebody who is perfecting your craft okay and all of this work and all of this effort that you're putting into your life is going to get rewards okay but your dedication for yourself is needed at this time so don't be afraid to you know be dedicated to whatever it is your healing your job your career because i feel like with the eight of pentacles this is saying that you are are already good at what you do you know, it's, you are already good at, at what you do, but still like you, you still have to do it. Like it's not 100% complete yet. Also like things take time and you're worth the time and you're worth the efforts and you're worth the work. Okay. Don't be afraid to put that work into your life to make it what you want it to be. It's your life. And you're like, you're just worth it. Okay. So we have the devil for you. I want to get one more. Get one more for your advice we have the four of wands Ooh, bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups underneath that we have the seven of swords in reverse you're on your way there's a union coming for you where you're meant to be is where you're headed with the four of wands to say the least don't let anything or anyone hold you back Again, there's like restrictions here with this devil energy. I feel like this is about you breaking free from those ego constructs or those things that you feel very much attached to. Letting go, letting just whatever happens, you know, whatever's meant to be, meant to be. Again, this is like that energy of like endings. Another door closes, another one opens for you. Um, there's a lot of releasing of attachments here and unhealthy patterns for you. But just know you're going to get there. Whatever way you decide to take with the Four of Wands, you are going to get there. This is your homecoming. This is your celebration. This is your time. Like every person has their day in the sun and yours is coming. Just know that these restrictions and these things that are making you feel stuck are just there to help you break free. To shed what needs to be shed. And that there's some codependency things here that are also being uh, shown to you as well. So don't be afraid to, you know, embrace this devil energy, embrace this healing, to look into what is making you feel this way. Uh, why do you feel certain attachments to certain people, places, and things? Why do you feel certain, like, or maybe why do you feel stuck in this as well? There's a lot of things that are coming to your awareness right now. Be easy on yourself at the same time. Take it easy. You don't need to figure it. You don't need to have it all figured out at once. Some of these attachments are going to break uh, naturally as well too, okay? So you, some, some things you don't even need to put to do, but you need to be aware of what you're putting your energy into. If you are obsessing over something, is it something productive for you? Is it something that you can do? Is it something that you can control? Because I do feel like there is an obsessive energy here, but it's like... If it's something that you don't have or it's something that you um, are trying to release, it, that could be counterproductive, okay? But I feel as though... It's just, it's all going to work out for you, for your better good in the end anyways. So you don't need to worry so much about what's happening or about what it's going to be as well. Especially we have all this destiny energy, that higher self energy coming through sometimes we just kind of have to roll with the punches and sometimes we just got to let it be what it's going to be because the end destination for you is the four of wands pile two you're going to get there you're going to get where you're meant to be and you're going to be celebrated for it okay you're going to be celebrated by the right people that that are waiting for you i feel like for some of you this is maybe a kind of a tough message but there are people that are waiting for you on the other side that will be celebrating you that will be rooting for you and that will appreciate you as well. So don't forget that there's, if you're not getting enough from a person or from a situation or from life, remember there's always more. 
There's more out there. If you're feeling like you deserve better than where you're at right now, that's because you most likely do. And that there is better for you. And all of this can sometimes just be a, a perspective shift, but it takes letting go. It takes, uh, you know, leaving behind that comfort zone. It takes leaving behind what, you, what we were attached to, what we feel safe with, and journeying off to find new, to find better. It's kind of a sign of like, if you're not getting fulfilled where you're at, then you need to get better, go towards better. There is better. There is. And like I said, there these people and these places and these better things, they're waiting for you. They're there. Just... It takes time though as well. I feel like, I, you know, it takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. And that's why we have this eight of pentacles. This is about you taking the time and the effort to work on those things, to put in the effort and to do those things. And it's not going to be easy, a piece of cake every day. It's not going to be a dream every day, but it's worth it. It's worth the work. It's worth the effort, whether this is just career or this is inner work. I feel like for a lot of you, this is all of the above. <laughs> your love life, your relationships, it's worth it. It will be worth it. Okay. Is like the message that I just keep repeating because it, it just, I keep hearing it. So trust in yourself. You're going to be fine. I love you. Spirit loves you. Pile two. You're amazing. There's nothing more I need to tell you about that. Believe it. You are good enough. Silence that inner critic because we all make mistakes. We're human. We do things, you know, and we learn. That's the thing. It's like, how would we even learn if we didn't make mistakes? So be easy on yourself. Allow yourself to be human. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Allow yourself to do what you feel like you need to do because you're growing from it. You're learning from it. And it's all going to be for a reason. Like the wisdom that you gain from these lessons and from these learning things are for a, a reason. So have a little bit more faith, have a little bit more trust in yourself and you will be fine. So on that note, I am going to leave this reading here. Oh my gosh, I just looked at the time though. It was so much longer than I thought. Always happens, but hey, it'd be like that, whatever. Anyways, thank you for being here though. Thank you for listening to me. Excuse me, I'm burping. I always burp at the end as, as like release. It's always funny because it's always at the end. Anyways, thank you to all who like the videos. Thank you to all who comment and share your love, share your stories. Love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Also, uh, special thank yous to my subscribers. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. I'm so, so grateful for every single one of you. It's, I just can't believe it. We're all here, guys. What are we even doing here, right? Am I right? All right, but thank you. Also, if you're not subscribed um, and you would like to see more readings, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Also, there's tons and tons of past timeless tarot readings that I already have as well, if that's something you would be interested in too. So if you would like to see me again and you're not subscribed, you're more than welcome to, and I will see you there.